is Damon John, the founder, president, and CEO of FUBU right here on the Rich Eisen Show. It looks awfully competitive between you and the rest of the buyers on that show. And I know that reality TV can be created to make something seem yeah. Yeah. what it is not. But how competitive is it with you? It's actually more else? competitive than you see. You know, those pitches can last up to two hours long. You know, we're yelling and screaming at each other, at the people. It's our real money, so it's real money at risk. And, you know, um, we're competitive, uh, especially Mark Cuban. All right. And yeah. the last thing you want to do is get smoked on national television. And, uh, you know, we don't take it home with us, but it's just like me playing football with my brother. I'm going to crack his head to the white meat and then <laughs> we'll discuss it at the end of the game. So <laughs> how long is a day of shooting Shark Tank for you guys? We shoot. Uh, we're basically in the chairs at about nine in the morning and we finish about seven o'clock at night. Wow. And we have one hour break in between that time to eat, go to the bathroom and maybe answer a couple of emails. And we shoot the whole show in approximately 18 days. So walk me through when you lose out something that you know, well, obviously you can't know, but you feel in your bones that is a money-making venture and you've lost out to somebody else. You like know what, I'm torn. I think, that, I, think that the, I think that the entrepreneur that didn't take my deal is not smart because it's my deal, of course, right? But in all reality, you know, the successful things are when the right entrepreneur meets the, meets the right shark with the right product. I've seen uh, deals that I wish I would have had and I wouldn't have done really well with them because I maybe didn't understand the vision and another entrepreneur another shark they they saw the vision in it so you know what um I, I don't as long as those people do get deals and they and and it's, and it's good for them and they sure. can feed their families I'm happy for them at the end of the day but you know I'm competitive so walk me through just how competitive Cuban really is how is how competitive is Mark Cuban oh I mean he just you all right he invites me sometimes to his games, you know, with the Mavs. Sure. And I don't understand why somebody will pay so much to have a team just to be miserable. <laughs> the entire <laughs> game. And I'm talking about when they're winning. He's miserable. I mean, his stomach's in knots. He's cursing. He's, he's drooling all over himself. It's just none of his staff. I don't want to sit anywhere near him. I mean, he's one of my good friends. Sure. But he's nasty at that time. He's really, really, because he's so competitive. And I'm talking about when he's winning. I don't even want to talk about when he's losing. <laughs> I got to be honest with you, Damon, with what I do at the NFL Network and having done ESPN for years before that, I've been fortunate to have been invited into uh, see a big game with an owner of the team that's playing. Yeah. I won't do it anymore. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really difficult to be there when things turn sour, and you can't blame I, I can't, the owner. I mean, this is this is this is it. Not at all. You know, listen. You know, once or twice, I uh, threw a team into Rutgers Park, up you know, uptown Manhattan. Sure. I was upset. So you know, listen. You go to you go to a, a game and you see your kid playing. You're gonna be upset if your kid doesn't do well. Imagine if you have 12 kids, all six foot 19, and they're not doing well. <laughs> and you're paying them millions of dollars. I'm getting upset thinking about so, poor Mark. So he's you've seen him go after the refs. As well. I, I, no, I haven't seen him get off the rest, but I've okay. seen him. I mean, because I'm sitting right next to him. I mean, you know, he gets he gets upset. But you know what? When he's happy, I was there, and I don't I don't go to many games, but I was there when you know he won the championship in Miami, oh. and um, it was he was really really. I'm very proud of what you know getting to know him and what he does because he's just a he's just a great guy at, at the core. Well, who's the most underrated shark? If you could call somebody who's <laughs> been a billionaire and made a ton of money, underrated. Uh, on your panel. I would Damon. have to say Mark. Um, and the reason why is that Mark was bigger than the show before he joined the show. And all these so-called billionaires and people who wanted to be, uh, you know, uh, you know, want to help people, they said, I'm not getting on the show with four people that nobody knows. And Mark said, if it's helping entrepreneurship, I'm on the show. I don't care. And um, mm -hmm. I think that people don't realize that he answers email every two seconds. He is fully vested in this thing. And when he realized that parents and kids were watching this show together, he said, I'll, I'll do it as many years as you need me to because I want to change the face of entrepreneurship and I want to give everyday families the American dream. You're right, Damon. Parents and kids yeah. do watch it together. Yeah. Absolutely. Because there's never really a, a moment that could go veer off into the profane yeah. or or the inappropriate. It yeah. really is. It's it, and but it's really intense. It's very entertaining. It's yeah. Very. That's intense. a Mark. That's a Mark Manette thing, right? You know, he knows how to cut these things and make it business theater. And another underrated shark is Barbara. You know, she's like the Mr. Magoo of Shark Tank. Barbara Corcoran, Barbara. who everybody's bought something from in this yeah. town. Yeah. Barbara apparently. Corcoran, absolutely. But she is she she's somebody. She's a marketing genius. She makes me look like a, a second grader when it comes to it because she will just take anything out of nowhere, thin air, and she knows how to market it. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience. If you like that, download our app.
please, just if, if it's a memory thing, just delete other apps. You don't need those apps. This app, the Rich Eisen Show app, you need that.